You know, even though the last episode was focused all on the other goddesses' disciples, right? Hibiki and the other Tomo whatever guy, right? I thought it was a fascinating episode. Like, learning stuff about this world from the perspective of different people is so fascinating to me. Even the fact that Hibiki encountered Mio earlier, right? Stuff like that leads to you know, wonderful moments in the future. So I feel like a lot of people that were upset about the focus not being on Makoto are very short-sighted. You know, they need their fucking daily dose of Makoto doing something cool. But honestly, I felt like episode 2 was very fascinating. And I'm sure episode 3 will also be good. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right, Academy Arc, but we're doing a little side spin story. CJ Castle. Mm, Lily. Yeah, he's getting stronger? For Stella. Hey, that's where the war was, right? Wasn't the war literally called something Stella? Wait, 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 what? A reclaim Force Stella is from who? From the, okay, I thought it's the demon son or something. I thought it's like demon lord's son or something. Hibiki! They interact together. Are they friends? They hate each other? Hmm. <laughs> Dude, Lily's looks are fucking just so vile. I love it. <laughs> Are you gonna make a face that looks like Light Yagami from Death Note like this? Like, <laughs> did she still look at? He's still looking at. All right, whatever. What a smirk. CGI for the war's beginning, but it's gonna about the end immediately. Oh, she put on some pants on today. Is he permanently blushing because he's still simping for Hibiki? Yeah, I think he is. Look at him. Look at the blonde guy. Honestly, I kind of like him. Mm. They haven't fought yet. What's the goddess blessing? Just some. So why did the goddess do this? She intentionally summoned Hibiki and Tomoka or whatever. Both heroes are now here to fight and collaborate against the demons. The stage is set. But then at that moment, the goddess is like, yeah. How about I put the third guy in here, the ugly motherfucker? Yeah, you get in there too. Well, why? I. Why? Other than just to fuck with him, I guess, because she hates him? Why is she upset? I hear we came from the same world. Oh, she just kind of like self conscious about who the other hero is going to be. Okay, okay. Ooh, Lily. Majesty Queen Lily. So even if she is the second princess, her mom is dead. So if this is a major, is she just the queen? I mean, she just called your Majesty Queen, right? So Lily is straight up like the the highest political figure in that Garatinia something kingdom. Am I am I correct here? Your Majesty Queen Lily. Yeah, I just saw a second princess. You know, in the that's how she introduced herself, right? Last episode, but okay. okay. Translation error? Is Crunchyroll fucking me right now? What's going on? Hmm. How is this meaning gonna be? Our side, we do not look happy at all. Everyone looks so awkward. Oh, okay, they're guilty because that's, that's our fault. Okay, okay. Wonder who would have won if Makoto wasn't there. These two versus Lancer and Sophia. Hmm. Based on his body language, no eye contact, his look of the, you know, a little, he's a little pissed off. He doesn't really know how to handle, I guess he doesn't really need to if he can manipulate everybody, but already, like, this is not hitting off good. This, the first impression is pretty bad. Mid-boss battle. I just straight up talking in game terms. Different schools, right? Oh. oh, he was an actual model. So they all kind of know each other. Well, we know of him, but Hibiki and Makoto are actually, you know, high school acquaintances, but Tomoki was doing fashion model stuff. All right. Mm. Did she say my friend knew that, right? 
Model my friend like God says, not that she likes. He really doesn't like his past, yeah? This guy is so bad. Do I look upset to you as you shoot her with the glare of death? Yes, you look fucking mad, bro. You're fuming. Are you gonna level check? <laughs> Only 430, bitch! I'm 431! 430, what are you? Ooh! Hibiki is being so courteous. This is our first impression. She's doing everything she can to make sure the vibes are at least okay for him. But he is such a fucking child. I hate him. He fucking sucks. What, what do you want then? Sama? You want Sama? This guy sucks. Okay. This guy sucks. I hate him. Hibiki needs to leave this and join us, dude. Oh, oh. That was her titties, never mind. I don't know, the god summoned her. Hibiki Naval Yuri Rounds? Hmm. Did you just think I'm kind of bitch? Thank you. Crunchyroll, you're you're doing extra work. Why 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 <laughs> whatever. Anyways. She was a little bit bitchy, right? I did say that she was a little bit overly cocky, but I think that she's a pretty good person overall. Still haven't really you know, we still have to see how she's gonna act around Makoto though. <laughs> That was last episode, but obviously time has passed. Nava gonna die? Why are they doing this right now? Someone to watch my back. She's been focusing on that too. Are they setting this character up to fucking die? Why? So that Hibiki having an emotional reaction? How would she die? Because of Tomoki fucking something up? Maybe I'm overthinking it. I know it's the Yuri route, but whenever it's night before the battle and you start having these sentimental moments, these are kind of death flags, man. Like, the whole character development of this character from last episode. She started off by saying, Ew, is, who are you? I don't want to hang out with you. I don't have to train you. Ew. But then we did the whole cobalt thing and now they're vibing. She's actually wearing pants now. You're having a little moment under the fucking moonlight. We're hanging out. Oh, you're someone I can trust and have my back. Come on, dude. Come on. This might as well be... This is a little bit of a diet version of the green puffy jacket guy from Solo Leveling Episode 1. Oh, I got a second child on a toy as we go to this fucking raid. <laughs> I'm just going to assume she's going to die. Oh, that's his armor? This is the blessing chance? CGI arms! CGI castle. I like to think that whenever he does the whole incantation, the goddess is so lazy and just annoyed. She's like, ugh, these fucking monkeys again. Alright, here, take it. Bye. Here we go. Demon waifu. Demon waifu? We saw her in the opening. I was like, who is she? We get to finally see her. Who is she? <laughs> Damn, what is that outfit? CGI army. <laughs> As in they're dead. <laughs> Do not quail. We have the goddess's protection. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care which side dies here. They both suck. How's it going? Demons are too easy to fight? Is it because of the blessing? Why is it too easy? Something's off. Also, someone please give a good lookout onto Neville. Because she... Uh -oh. oh. Oh, her name is Rona. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. So this is a trap. They basically just baited us to here. Now they're going to activate the trap. And Naval. Early salute. Hopefully not. Oh god. Yo, step out! Get out of there! What are you doing standing there? Bye bye, Woody. Oh! Woody clutch? 
Rona, fuck him up. Fuck his shoes up. Lame ass shoes. Divine spear. <laughs> what a shitty teammate, dude. No, you're just bottom heavy. Nagi? A uh, dragon. Rona really just a mid boss? Maybe she is in the grand scheme of things. Oh, is this big boy? Bald! Bald! He's got four arms! Be gone, bitch. Yo, yo, this guy's pretty epic. You won't even state your name. What a boo, rich hero. <laughs> he has no uh, honor. The sanctity of a duel. Oh. I want Bali to win right now. I don't want them to win. I don't care about the humans right now. I'm sorry my companion was rude to you. <laughs> what does that mean? It means you're a fucking child with no manners. Fuck you. He's truly a human hero. That is such an insult, right? That is 100% an insult. A hero befitting of humans. Third Brigade General of Demon King's forces. Wow. Regen. You see him popping out another arm and suddenly you can just jump to the conclusion that the healing is in the same level as the Black Spider. I don't know, maybe that's a safe assumption to make, but that's, it's funny to me that she just kind of instantly just said that with such utmost confidence just because he grew an arm back. Oh shit! Oh, he was speaking in human tongue the entire time too, I didn't even realize. He didn't have to, I wonder why. Yeah, this is what Sophia used before. And now Makoto, it actually works, but us! Instant debuff? They get weakened? But, 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 but the blessing is such a, a generic term, right? What does it actually do? Is all our powers gone? Like, like for example, Mak Mak like, uh, Tomiko's like, magic eye and shit. Like, is every one of the goddesses' like, borrowed powers just negated? Special gifted powers gone. The immortality gone! Yo, we need to get more of those rings. Yo, we need to work with the demons and mass produce those rings that gets rid of the goddess's, you know, blessing. I feel like that's such an important ring. We need to get more of that shit, man. Because straight up, enough of ambrosia, okay? We have enough of that. Let's get that fucking ring. What are you with that immortality, bitch? Finally. I hope Baldi just destroys them, dude. It's 3v1, what are you talking about? Coward? You know, objectively speaking, strategically, Tomiko's kind of, Tomi, I don't even fucking know his name. He's kind of right. They should back up just because we got the debuff. We should wait for it to clear and then come back. But, but this is kind of showcasing how big of a coward he is, huh? Yeah, he only cares about himself. Oh yeah? I'm glad. <laughs> Bro just fucking leaves. No. Baldi! <sighs> I hope Baldi is like, I don't know, show some respect to Hibiki and just kind of lets her go or something. I don't know. They just straight up fucking fly away on the dragon just leaves Hibiki here, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Wolf. And he has his party. That's right, she has her party. Confirm the hero's power. <laughs> I like this guy. This eel guy, he's pretty epic. Uh, uh, she's been watching this entire time. Hmm, do I have another? Fuck, I have to rely on that piece of shit. All right, Makoto, you get in there. So this is how it happened. How does she know though? So her vision on Makoto, I just want to know, is she aware of all our movements? Or is it the fact that she just happened to be in like a common passageway that the goddess just happened to find? I don't know how that works. Like, because like we were talking about uh, before about how if the goddess were to know about the demiplane and the existence of Makoto's new powers, like this would be like a huge deal, right? So I wonder how the goddess has like constant vision over Makoto outside of the demiplane. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't have vision on us in Demiplane, but outside of it, I wonder if she just... Alright, they've been fighting all night! 
Let's go, Hibiki. He's actually enjoying it. Someone said body gotti in chat too. Kinda is like body gotti. Bro just gets stabbed to the bones. Oh, this one actually went to the bone. Nice one. I see you. I like this dude a lot. Ooh. Magnificent! You are truly a hero. Just fucking just tossing them around. Oh my goodness, Rona. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Lancer and Sophia Bullgun. Everything right now should be going to according to plan. Everything should be perfect for them. Unfortunately, the real main character is about to show up. Ah, shit. It's the third disciple. Wonder if Hibiki saw our fight. All right, here he is. And bro's like, what the fuck? No! Because she might die, man. Oh, God. She's still alive, though, but I'm a little scared for her. Hibiki truly speaks like an actual hero. Are they going to self- Are they going to all sacrifice themselves? No shot. I don't know. It, it really does feel like we're positioning to kind of just save Hibiki and leave everyone behind. Maybe it's just Nava that gets left behind, but like... This is why I told you, like, why the fuck are we talking night before the battle, getting all sentimental and shit? <laughs> I sniffed that fucking death flag fucking 10 minutes ago! This is bullshit! This is bullshit! <laughs> it's not fair, that's right! Why does the waifu gotta die? <laughs> and she's laughing at the end. Like, the fuck? This is like irreversible magic that like powers her up, but at the cost of her life. Like, what is that? The ba based on the way that he was looking there, I don't know. She looked like she getting powered up, but huh? Interesting, huh? All right. Well, at least she's gonna go out with an epic soundtrack, huh? Eo is still giving out compliments and saying acknowledging he's giving advice still during battle. I love him. Nani, the armor. I don't know what kind of magic is this. The rose. Yeah, dude, they're going all out with Nabal right now. How long is the rose effect gonna last for, though? Damn! De really? I am the strongest demon in of all the demons. He is the strongest in. Oh. Well, I don't know what this really means, right? Like clearly, like the demon lord or other people should be strong. Well, depends on what his definition of strength is, but he's pretty up there. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I don't want any of these two to die. Like, I don't want Naval to die. I don't want Io to die. Oh? Yo. He's not a titan. Did he just, did he just cut the nape? Oh no, he's going phase two. Oh no, he's going phase two. <laughs> she's not even talking in game terms too before she was like, buff? Debuff? Ah oh, shit, second phase is coming. Why did the soundtrack change? What happened to Naval's theme? Why is a different theme track in the soundtrack playing? <laughs> huh? Pull everyone back. You can see how destroyed Woody is too, being forced to do this. This is fucked up, man. This is fucked up. <sighs> what is the rose sign? At the cost of the user's life, irreversible. No! Last stand! Last stand! Come on! Yo, this is actually so epic! I've only met her last episode! <sighs> Eo better fuck 
fucking respect this girl and says, hmm, out of respect and honor of our duel, I then will beat you with this last punch and not go after the hero. I hope he does some shit like that, man. Dude, look at this chivalry. Look at the respect. I'll never forget you. Ooh. One last attack. Is she taking out Eo with her? That's pretty insane. But I feel like he's gonna survive that, you know? He seems a little bit too important. And the coolest thing, I think, of this entire duel was the mutual respect that Eo had with everyone else here. Contrast that with Tomi Tomoki or whatever his name is in the beginning, right? It's like, bro, you don't even fucking introduce your name? Piece of shit. Fucking ran away like a coward. This is such a contrast between the two parties, right? Immediately, the author is letting us know, hey, this hero, he fucking sucks. This hero, though, pretty legit. Look at her friends. Look at the demons. In fact, I don't even think Eo is the wrong side, bro. I straight up don't even think Eo was on the wrong side. We were just... Caught up in war. It is what it is. But you know who I hate the most? The piece of shit party that ran away with the fucking dragon. And also a good point, right? Naval was the only non-human there that fucking, you know, she, I mean, sorry. She was the not only non-human there that risked her life to protect everybody, right? So it goes to show that they're great. The humans fucking suck. The fucking Tomoki fucking sucks. Everyone sucks, dude. Coward. And Lily continues to manipulate him, who is the manipulator, you know? Oh. I wanted to give us a fucking twisted look again. Come on, smile. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. You know, last... Like, 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 before, right? Before she had, like, demented... Look. I thought she'd give us one more like that, but... Okay, nah. He's 11. Oi, get up. I'll remember that name. I mean, she's dead, but kind of respects that she lived on through the memories. Wait, what? No, Sophia's not dead. Wait, wait, what? No. Lancer and Sophia are both alive. Why would they? The f Did they fake their death? They think she is based on the impact, right? But they did survive. And I think someone also mentioned, maybe you mentioned a storm, but I think someone mentioned that um, the only reason they survived is because they were also like water affinity, right? They got bombarded with the water magic, but they survived. The only reason they survived was because he, Lancer was water affinity. <laughs> Mio. Wait. She was, she, she can like lose her arm for regenerating that hard? Damn, we didn't even see this, dude. We didn't even see this in season... In the finger! Yeah, bro didn't even know that the heroes existed at this point, dude. I think this is the end. And now we get to the present. How the fuck were people crying about these two episodes? These two episodes are so good! Like, straight up, if you're complaining about episode 2 and 3 being bad, I think that... You are an absolute monkey. A baboon. An actual chimp. Like, what? You thought these two episodes were bad? They introduce us to an entirely different perspective of different heroes who are so critical to this world. Does like... Does like... When the first... When they mentioned that Makoto was the third disciple of the goddess, did you not get hyped thinking, who are the first and second? Then we saw them. Right? And it's like, oh shit, what are they about? I want to see them. Then they give us a story perspective based on them. Sure, Tomoki fucking sucks. His perspective sucks, but it's still very interesting. And this last stand from Naval with this like honorable duel with the strongest demon on the battlefield, Eo, this shit was peak. The first three episodes of Skimichi Moon Fantasy Season 1, I thought were incredibly mid and it was very generic in the sense that I've already seen this shit just because Slime took inspiration from Moonlit Fantasy. It's not fair for me to say, you know, Moonlit Fantasy is mid or generic. It's just the order of the shit that I watch. It did not give me any sense of attachment to the show until episode 11. And at that point, I was like, this shit's getting pretty fucking good. But right now, season two, it's just been fucking heat, dude. What? And we're getting back into the Academy arc. It's crazy. People are actually upset. People are actually upset about these two episodes focusing on the different heroes, man. I, that, that blows my mind. That blows my mind, but...
whatever. Anyways, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more, even more content. And until next time, take care.